we're flashing back to hell. More specifically, a portal to hell somewhere in Indiana. Plus, we track down the priest who was brought in to close that hell portal. This priest is revealing what happened behind the scenes in an all new interview. You're not going to want to miss it. It's your first look inside the house known as the portal to hell, a place where demons supposedly wrought havoc with a helpless family in horror straight out of the exorcist. That the power of Christ compels you. This is the woman who lived in the house of horrors with her three children before Zach Bagans bought it. Latoya Ammons fought back tears when she told us how they fled in terror after her daughter was raised right off her bed. She says the demon sounded like this. We've waited five months. It sounded like something dead. She says she anointed the rooms with holy oil and read aloud from the Bible. But the nightmare went on and on and listened to a sound that cannot be explained by police who looked into the mysterious goings on. While two cops are talking in the basement, someone can be heard saying, You in there. What was your reaction? I was in shock. Enter Father Michael Maginot, a local priest who got permission from the Bishop of Gary, Indiana, to perform an exorcism on LaToya. Did you at one point believe this house was the portal to hell? It, there was a portal. LaToya moved out of the house and now lives many miles away. She knows her story is hard to believe. Some people claim that you made this all up, that this was some sort of an elaborate hoax. Is this a hoax? No. Uh, I don't feel that someone will have a reason to make something up like that. Do you believe that house is possessed by demons? I do. I feel that uh, it's something very bad going on in that house. How did you get involved with the house in the first place? And can you tell us a little bit about the exorcism you performed? Yes, I got a call on April 20th, uh, 2012 from the Gary Hospital. And they asked me to come out there to perform an exorcism. The hospital, the hospital asked you to perform an exorcism. Yeah, <laughs> and I was that was kind of a strange request, and uh, and I said, well, no, you need uh, permission from the bishop to do that. But what's going on? And then they told me uh, several staff members saw this boy um, walking up the wall backwards, flipping over her the grandmother's he uh, head, who was holding him and uh, sat down and turned at them and had with white eyes. So I went to the house on that Sunday. And the kid was home from the hospital? One was locked up in a child psychiatric unit and the other two were put into foster care. So what? tell me about the, uh, once you went in and began to perform the exorcism, tell us a little bit about that. It took about six weeks of investigation. I was thinking the children were possessed, but uh, uh, and and trying to find out about that then i discovered you know she was possessed and so i put the crucifix on her to test it she began convulsing and so i took it off i said okay yeah and then she stopped how did you feel when that happened i mean had you seen something like that before what what, what was going through your head like what were your emotions when she began convulsing yeah so i, I said oh you, you you there is something uh, it, you know, definitely there, the lights would flicker in the bathroom. And then I would go over there to take a closer look. And the moment I got to the bathroom, it would stop flickering. I did bless the house, but, you know, again, uh, things were happening afterwards. The rods were swinging back and forth. There was oil coming down her blinds. There were footprints that appeared around her. I was there for four hours. And the last two hours, all these different phenomena were happening. Zach Bagans was a documentarian who found out about this story and found out about you and your practice of trying to exercise the demons from this house and became so involved with it that he actually bought the property. Is that correct? Yes, that, that's correct. We were going to end the movie that, you know, the house is fine and, and the story is over. I was kind of surprised Zach never called, you know, and then I heard he was wrapping up. And so I did give him a call and then he told me that everything went haywire and such. All of a sudden I get a call that he demolished the house. And I go, oh, you didn't, you know, tell me that. And so, um, so I was a little worried because now it's an open lot. So once so, the house is demolished, it actually lets the spirits out. Is that what you're saying? We did cleanse the property. Right. Okay. But anyone can go on there, do some sort of ritual there and open it all up. And it could be seven times worse. Reopen the portal, kind of like. Reopen it by doing some ritual there. Now try to reopen what was 
cleansed. Right. And it could be worse than before. 